is morning and I am looking at the cloudy sky and wondering what to do because I'm supposed to be in the mountains to see lots and lots of beautiful sights. Anyway, this afternoon it's supposed to burn up a little bit so I'm gonna go and find myself a coffee first thing this morning and then I will regroup and figure out what to do. Frustrating, isn't it, when you're traveling and the weather doesn't play ball. Light me up, don't you stop, cause tonight it's on the line. Show me how you get on down, close my eyes, take me for a ride. So I'm here in Christchurch now, having left Wellington this morning. It was a bit foggy this morning, so my flight was a little delayed, but I'm here now. And I've just picked up my friend's car, who uh, she has kindly, Ruth, thank you very much. She's kindly lent me it for the uh, rest of the week. And I'm now off to get a pie for lunch, of course, then off to the supermarket, and then I'm off down to Fairley. So I've just arrived here in Fairley, and I have to show you where I'm staying because I think it is possibly the cutest place I've ever stayed in. Just check this out. This is an old 1930s converted railway cabin, I understand. And check it out inside because it's just unbelievable. I mean, just look at it. It's fantastic. This bed, these chairs, this little wood burner, a microwave and there's a a little block outside where there's a full kitchen and things that you can use as well, but just wonderful. So this is the uh, High Country Musterers accommodation. If you're looking for somewhere to stay just outside of Fairley, just on the edge of the Mackenzie district as you're getting into the Starlight Roadway, taking you over to Auraki, Mount Cook. This is an amazing little find. Hello, hello. Can you join me at the base of Auraki or Mount Cook, which is just over there. And I am just about to do the Hunter Valley track, which is a three hour return, but it's supposed to be one of the prettiest tracks that you can do in this area, if not the whole of New Zealand. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring a sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. The view at the end is totally worth the effort. Mount Cook over Hooker Lake and three of the most beautiful suspension bridges in New Zealand on the way. In fact, the whole walk is just packed full of highlights from start to finish. One of the best day walks in New Zealand, if not the world. Overall, the entire 10 kilometer Hooker Valley track can be completed within about three and a half hours, including stops for your photos. Never look down low, not when we shine so bright. 